My name is Candace Lee Roscoe Jenkins Twiggs, and I am from Miami, Florida. I have been dancing for 20 years. <laughs> uh, feels real weird to say it, even saying it again, but since I was nine, and that was pretty much um, when I really started dancing. I started at a ballet conservatory, and from there went to um, magnet schools, went to uh, middle schools, Performing Arts Middle Schools, Performing Arts High School, New World School of the Arts, um, one of the best in the country, and then Florida State. Got my degree in dance and did summer intensives at the Dance Theater of Harlem. So, um, yeah, 20 years. <laughs> yeah. I met T Lang via Zoetic. So, we had a show with Zoetic Dance, and T Lang let the artistic director of Zoetic Dance Ensemble know that she was looking for dancers of color. And there were four of us at the time, so she just wanted to put the word out and sort of ask if we were interested, and we were. So that's how I met Tiang. Mm. The word is motherfucker. Um, not really one of my choice words, I have a few, but that's not in my vocabulary. But I didn't know much about the history of the word. Um, my family's from Greenwood, Mississippi, and I had an aunt who, bless her soul, used to use the word all the time, but only when she got really, really, really mad. So in my mind, the association with the word was like, you in, you in some real shit that, you know, you know, this dirty mother blank, you know. So the history of the word, not so much, but the context and how aggressive and how abrasive the word is and you know you really save in in my life you really only save that for you know special occasions I guess initially my thoughts about this piece were curiosity intrigue and just really ready to get involved in the work I wasn't scared of the content I didn't question it um, I thought it was a, a great subject matter to address, something that's rarely addressed and um, really should be, even, you know, 150 years later, see how that, you know, this content of work has, you know, sparked the conversation and even how we relate, interact with men, women, um, you know, daily interactions. It certainly has been ingrained in us, uh, you know, whether we know it or not. It's been wonderful. It's, it takes you to a place. It takes a little while to get there. You don't get there right away. But it takes you to, it takes you to a place where you, I almost, for me, my experience, I almost feel like I have stepped back in time. So I feel like once I have a, a particular solo that it's sort of when I'm when I'm in it, I get lost. I'm there's nothing else really going on around me that I can tell. I'm I'm in the moment. I'm I've become that that woman, that girl at the time, and I'm really trying to bring her story forward. And I'm I almost feel like and I know this might sound crazy, but I almost feel like somehow someone's spirit like. Not that I've stepped into someone's body, but almost like someone is is giving me their story. Like almost, like I'm almost taking on the presence of whoever she is because I I don't know who she is yet or right now. But 
I know what she'd been through. I, I have a, an idea, um, you know, what it was like, not day to day, but, you know, what she had to go through. And I, I really, I, I sort of become her, almost. I guess it's akin to acting, but I don't, I don't feel like I'm acting. Like, I've, I literally feel like I am someone else at the time, so...